The definition and the criteria in declaring candidates as nuisance should be first explicitly stated in the election law before penalizing such candidates, according to election lawyer and dean of College of Law in Pamantasa ng Lungsod ng Maynila, Attorney George Garcia, imposing fines without making it clear first in the law the detailed basis in declaring nuisance candidates is unfair. This, as the election lawyer also noted, that the absolute discretion in determining who among the candidates are considered nuisance lies in the hands of the Commission on Elections. So kung halimbawa, hindi natin babaguhin yung umiliral na patas natin sa, sa nuisance o kaya hindi natin babaguhin yung definition o hindi tayo mag-set ng criteria sa paano mag-declare, o oh, edi ibig kong ibig mo sabihin kung halimbawa ikaw pinadeklar kita ng nuisance dahil wala kang partido, di wala kang perang ganong kalaki na sinasabi nila pidyonan, isipin mo, tanggal ka na, ikaso ka pa? May fine ka pa, criminal case pa at that? Parang unfair. At, at saka magkikreate ng ano, takot sa mga mamamayan natin. May wala na parang ambisyon na isang mamamayan na nag-aambisyon makatulong sa ating mga kababayan. Under the Section 69 of the Omnibus Election Code, nuisance candidates pertain to those who filed their candidacies to put the election process in mockery or to cause confusion among the voters by the similarity of the names of the registered candidates or by other acts which clearly demonstrate that the candidate has no genuine intention to run for public office. political history. na ba ikaw kahit na barangay chairman man lang o naging barangay talo? Hello? Nasaan sa batas natin na dapat ay naging barangay talo o barangay chairman o kanya ano man? Eh pero yun, maliwala kayo sa hindi pagka na nagihiring patungkol sa politik sa tisan, nasasabi yun na babanggit. Pero wala naman sa batas yun. Ang yung paren, yung section 69 paren na nagdi-define ng business candidate tapos bigla ka lang magdadagdag ng fine at saka ng uh, perpetual disqualification to hold public office, halimbawa, sa akin palagay parang magbo-border na siya sa violation ng equal protection clause under the Constitution. Meanwhile, for Professor Edmund Dayao, a faculty at the Ateneo School of Government, the issue should be examined, noting that it is difficult to distinguish candidates whose real intention is to make fun of the electoral process. There are those who... Uh, really uh, want to offer themselves as an alternative candidate to the public, albeit or uh, however, they don't have the resources uh, to, uh, you know, uh, conduct a respectable campaign. Kasi yun yung definition natin ng nuisance candidate, na declare kang nuisance candidate kung uh, nag-file ka ng candidacy mo, kandidato ka, pero it turns out that eh, hindi ka naman makakapagkampanya uh, nationally. No, this this has to be really uh, looked into closely. Based on Kamalex data, 251 candidates were declared nuisance in 2016 elections, while 84 in the 2019 midterm elections. Senate Committee on Electoral Reforms Chairperson Ibi Marcos has requested Kamalek to provide more data to study the issue, citing Supreme Court decisions, reminding them not to be oppressive in determining nuisance candidates. Horilin Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.